Hi friends, I'm Felicia. Welcome here. So today, it's a bit of a different view. You can see my hands. And that is because I'm gonna be doing a stationary haul. So I've been ordering some things online lately. Um, got some stuff from AliExpress, got some Homonichi stuff. And so I'm just gonna, I felt like I wanted to do a haul because I really enjoy stationary hauls. So I thought I would show you guys. Um, obviously not a professional at this, so my camera angle might be wonky, might be a little bit crooked. I don't know. And the lighting, whatever. So let's we'll just make it work. So first I'll show you some washi tapes that I got from AliExpress. Um, and then we'll get on to the, the Hobonichi things, you know? Um, and some stuff from jet pens and etc. Okay, so I got some washi tapes from AliExpress. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I really have been, I've been sending out more snail mail and stuff this year. So I just wanted like some washi tapes to zhuzh it up, you know? Okay, but here are some stickers that I got. Um, they're like little maps. I love vintage maps. So I got these little stickers. Should I zoom in a bit? A bit more? Is that better? Uh, yeah. So I got some stickers. Sorry. So I got some stickers with like vintage maps. Like that. Beautiful. Love them. So I got those. Then, eh. I'm a little bit shaky. Apparently I need to eat lunch. <laughs> All right. Chris is watching YouTube videos. Apologies if you can hear the noise. Then I got this cute. It's like uh, stickers, individual stickers of mushrooms. And they're super cute. Um, I really like these washi stickers and I want to get more. They're very nice. So they just there's like this in the middle, so you can kind of peel it up. And then they're just individual stickers, like, I can't peel it right now. Woo. What? Yeah, you, you get the gist. Sorry, I need to figure out where the middle is. It's not right in front of me. Okay. And then I got these three from a shop. Sorry. Uh, so this one is birds. I really like birds. I think they're cute. So, and it's like, uh, transparent. And I kind of like this big stuff because you can kind of cut around it and use it like stickers. So let's just cut these different birds on there. It's really pretty. I like it. Um, this one is floral, kind of vintagey floral botanical illustrations. Ah. Hard to peel washi when your nails are short. Yeah, so I've got these botanicals with some vintagey writing behind. So I think that looks really pretty. Again, you could cut this down the line there like a sticker. And then this is like old vintagey kind of ads. So it just looks like that. And yeah, I think those are really nice. Okay. Then I got this. This was, uh, apparently I thought I was ordering rolls. <laughs> These are not rolls. They're just strips. So <laughs> they're still just totally folded up from the package. Um, okay. I haven't even really looked at these ones yet. So Let's see. So it's just kind of like, well, if I hold it sideways, you can kind of see. So it's just like these strips of different illustrations. Again, you could use this like stickers, just cut it apart. So there's that one. This one, sorry. <laughs> this one. And 
this one. So yeah, kind of disappointed that these aren't full rolls. But uh, yeah, still pretty. I will still use them. And then I got this little box of autumnal washies. Look at how cute. Uh, yeah. So it even comes in a little cute little box like this. Um, but yeah. So I'm not really, I'm not going to take these apart and show you, but yeah. So this is 10 rolls. Um, and I like that they have, you know, different widths. So yeah, I was really hoping they would come in time for a home and they did. Do I need to put the lid back on the box? Not really, but yeah. Okay. So those are my washi tapes from AliExpress. <laughs> I ordered some Hoganichi and other stationary things from Fidon Pens, which is in Ontario. So that is a Canadian uh, shop. And then I ordered some stuff from Jet Pens because uh, I love Jet Pens. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna, how am I gonna sort this? Um, I'll show you a reading thing that I got that's pretty neat. So I got this, which is, hang on, we'll zoom out a little bit. Oops, spoilers. Uh, this is a book stand. So this is the package. So it works like that. So it's this little book stand and then it has this little, goes completely flat. And then it has this little rubber thing that you put here and then it holds your book like this and you move this up and down to adjust the angle. I know this is kind of a weird t angle to show you, but yeah, I used it the other day when I was reading and I really like it. So I'm very happy to have this. Now uh, more knitting and reading together, I think. Excited to have that. Okay, now we're almost at the Hobonichi stuff that I got from Jet Pens. I'll leave links to all this stuff down below. Another from Jet Pens, this pouch, look at it. It's me. <laughs> She's eating popcorn, probably watching a movie with probably tea. Here's a cat, here's some books. <laughs> and it's purple, which is my favorite color. So I had to get this pouch, it's quite big. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can tell by the size of my hand, it's very large, so. I really like big pouches like this. Not sure what I'm gonna, use it for yet. I also like this kind of uh, plasticky, canvasy, tarpy material so that it doesn't get dirty and it's really nice. And I like the the bright orange uh, pops. So yeah, I really like this. It's the same on both sides. That's from Jet Pens. I got a couple fountain pens. So I'll show you those. Those I got from Fidon Pens. Uh, this is the fir my first time ordering from them. Um, and I'm quite happy with their selection and stuff. So I will definitely keep ordering from them. Uh, so the first one I got is this Coeco Sport Fountain Pen. Um, yeah, I've wanted to try these for a long time. So I got one. Um, it's very small, as you can see. These are pocket pens, um, but then you unscrew it and you post it like that. And it's kind of, a nor it's a normal size. Um, this is a very light pen. I wasn't expecting it to be so like lightweight when I got it. I think I prefer a heavier pen. Um, but now I know, so I'm not going to try to add a bunch of these to my collection. Um, they do have an aluminum style as well. Um, so I may try one of those, but definitely not in rush, but I do like the writing experience with this pen. Just my preference would be a bit heavier. Um, let's see if I have a piece of paper here. This is not ideal paper. Um, we'll zoom in here. So this is the pen. Um, yeah, this is a fine nib. Um, and this is the lavender color. This is a limited edition from this year, I think. But yeah, so it's quite nice. And yeah, I like the writing. I got a converter right away for it. Um, and then that will transition to what I inked it up with. I ordered these, this set of mini inks from Colorverse. So I got, this is the little package. I think that's really cute. 
and now I will throw it away forever. It comes up with a little sample card, I guess, so you can see which ones you have. Sorry. There. And yeah, it came with these three. So I got Filicette, Filicette Glistening, which is this. So I quite like that. And this is Andromeda. And this is Gravity Wave. Um, I won't swatch these right now because you will see them. Okay. But yeah. So, and then I'll just show you. They come, they all look like this in this little tiny little bottle. Look at this baby bottle. Like, oh my gosh. So this is five milliliters and they come with a little, uh, pipette because the opening is very small. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. So, uh, my spoiler, my Twisby didn't fit in here. I don't think there would be a lot of pens that fit in there. Um, this fit in there, this tiny little nib with the converter. Did I just, oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I remember I just stuck the converter in there and then put it in this pen. So if you have a converter, it would work if you just sucked it up like that. <laughs> um, I don't think you'd be able to have the nib on, um, but yeah. So my Twisby vacuum converter did not fit in there. Okay, so that's what I got from Fidon. One more from them. I also, they had an anniversary sale right after I bought that and I got this. Oh, this is a Twisby Eco in the lilac color. Do you, do you can you tell if I like purple? Um, I have another Twisby and it's my favorite pen. Um, it's a vacuum, no, not vacuum, piston fill uh, mechanism. And I think it works really nice. And I like the large ink capacity in there. Um, and I love this color. So it has a screw off cap. I got a fine nib, right? Hello? I think it's a fine nib. I wanted a medium nib, but they didn't have it in stock. So, but yeah. This is filled with the, with this one, uh, color first gravity wave. So that's this. Um, yeah. And basically I had to empty one of my sample vials, <laughs> put some of the ink in there so that I could fill this pen. <laughs> so just, you know, be aware if you have these tiny ones that you will need something else to fill up this kind of pen. Um, but yeah, oh, love this pen. Can't wait to sit down and write some letters with it. It's very nice. Okay, and then now I'm gonna show you two more pens that I got from Jet Pens. Um, first, I got this pen, uh, which is a Pilot Acroball 3 plus 1.5 in the purple. This is purple. Um, so it has, you know, red, blue, black, and then it has a pencil, which is very nice. I like that. So we'll just keep writing on here. So the pencil is like this, and then you depress this for the lead. So then it's just like that. Now we're descended into not writing. Um, <laughs> red, um, blue, and black. I really like the squishy grip. I really like that on a multi pen. Um, it's very comfortable to write with. I've been using it so far in my Bujo and I really like it. Um, you can get refills. My favorite, I, <laughs> I lost <laughs> my favorite multi pen. I don't know where it is. I think I may, it may have fallen in my garbage and then I threw it away by accident. My favorite, uh, ink refills are these guys, which are the, uh, Uniball Signo for the style fit pens in a 0.38. Um, so I have some extras of these and they supposedly are compatible with this. So my hope is once this is done, then I will use these in there. I do have another one of these pens, but it's, uh, five and I prefer three and I lost my three. So yeah, sad day. Okay. But yeah. So there's that pen and I'm enjoying it so far. And then I got this, uh, 
Zig Clean Color Dot uh, in the color Fawn. So this has a 0.5 marker and then a dot marker on the end. I'm so sorry this is out of frame. I'm learning. Uh, so this is this really nice kind of fawn color and then it just does like that or you can do like that for a highlighter or like that for a bowl. So I'm really enjoying this too. In my bujo, I would like to get some more colors, but yeah, I really like this. So that's from Jet Pens as well. Okay, now, da da da, Hobonichi time. So this is my my Hobonichi haul. Oh, let's zoom out a bit here. Okay, this is my Hobonichi haul for this year. So I ordered from Jet Pens and from Fidon Pens because Fidon had the weeks uh, quite a bit before Jet Pens did, and I was impatient, so I just ordered it from them. But then I did still order from Jet Pens. Um, okay, so this is the Hobonichi Weeks Mega in yellow. Um, and this is my planner for next year. So I should, maybe I should take the cover off. I'll take the cover off. Okay. So that's it. Um, I want to do a Hobonichi video yet. I know some of you are interested. So this would be my third year using it. I used it in 2019, 2020. And then I took a break for this year. I don't know why, because I really want to go back to bullet journaling. But since this year, I've been seeing people using the Weeks Mega the way that I use a bullet journal. And I also did use a bullet journal like that, but like I'm even more solidified now after using the bullet journal that this is really my style because so that's how big it is it has your planners your weekly and your monthly all set up exactly how I like to do it this is how I set it up in my bullet journal um, but then it's got all these extra just grid pages in the back and in the mega there are 214 15 15 which is enough for me to do my um, kind of like my rapid blogging throughout the day, to-do lists, collections, all of that. So this really is ideal for me. I also really like the small size. And then there are some extra pages in the back. This, my, I'm not sure, my 100. Might be books that I read this year. We'll see, um, or next year. And then these pages in Japanese that I don't know. And yeah, so that's the Hominichi Weeks. I got this cover. This is this year's, uh, cover uncover no whatever the clear cover um i don't know who the designer of this pattern is but i thought it was cute so i got that i mean i do wish it was i don't know i don't like this yellow against this yellow but the rest of it is good um and i think it's cute so eventually i do want to get a kind of a leathery cover maybe at some point but for now I will use this because I always end up getting the outside of them dirty and yeah. So that's that. Uh, very excited. There's a little pen loopy and then this thing comes out. And what I have done uh, previously is put a Velcro dot on here so that it, it will, then you can use it as a closure and then you just put it on the other side. But yeah, so that's my planner for next year. And looking forward to it. Look out for some more Hobonichi content from me. Okay, then. Uh, from So I got that from Fine On Pens. I got the cover from Jet Pens. This is another last purchase uh, from Fine On Pens. Or that was in my order. Um, this is the A6 Hobonichi notebook. So it's just a grid. Plain grid. Um, yeah. I was going to use this for an ink journal. Um, I want to start an ink journal, but I realized that the way that I want to use it, an A5 size would work better. So I got this and I will use it for something. No worries there. But I realized that this wasn't quite the right size and like watch out for an ink journal video. Okay, then. Okay, so this is my ink journal. This is from Jet Pens, but I got first, I got the A5 Animal Crossing pencil board because I thought it was cute and I wanted it. So that's that. 
and that is gonna go in here. This is going to be my ink journal. This is the A5 size notebook for this year. And again, I forget the name of the designer and the pattern, but this is their special, special notebook for this year. So this is gonna be my ink journal. Um, yeah. So, you know, just grid pages. Um, this is the Tomoe River paper, the last, the last before they changed their paper, I think. Um, yeah. So this is going to be my ink journal and I plan to do a setup video of that and uh, yeah. So I'm very excited. So then this will just go in here like so and yeah. So that is my recent acquired over the last few months stationery haul. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. I really love stationery hauls. So I thought I would film one because I want to share that with you. <laughs> And I know that I know that some of you will be interested in that. So that's all that I have for this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any other kinds of uh, bullet journal videos or planner videos or reading journal videos or whatever stationary videos that you want to see from me, let me know because I'm super into them. So I should probably start making that content for you guys <laughs> because I love watching them so much. Um, yeah, that's all that I have for today. So thanks for watching and until next time, so long. Thanks for all the fish.